What's going on everybody? It is your boy Tim back with another video. We are once again back out in nature, back hiking, back exploring. I am on the Flat Iron Vista Trail, I believe. Uh, the portion I'm on is like 10 miles outside of Boulder. I was actually headed to Boulder, Colorado today. That's what my goal for today was. But I was driving by and I saw this trail and I did a quick U-turn and I was like, man, I, I, I gotta get some hiking in. Boulder will be there when I decide to go back and explore it. But I was like, if I see a trail, you know, I saw some mountains in the distance. I was like, man, I gotta get on this trail. I gotta do some hiking. So here we are. You know, I already went around it once, kind of going around it again. And I figured I would turn the camera on and do a little walk and talk. Cause I've been promising y'all some nature views and it is really pretty, really pretty out here. Let me give y'all kind of a, a panoramic real quick. You know, just these, ooh, these wide open spaces, green grass, blue skies. I love spring. I love spring, especially in this part of the country, you know? So my message today was that I refuse to live in fear. I refuse to live in fear. And I uh, wanted to talk about this topic for a couple different reasons. First one being that um, I've been looking at my comments a lot more lately and trying to respond. And I get a lot of good ideas for videos for my comments. And today was no different than a lot of days. I get a lot of comments, a lot of di direct messages. Um, even sometimes people I talk to in real life when they find out kind of what I do with my life. Uh, I get a lot of like cautionary comments and conversations. A lot of cautionary comments and conversations. And people are like, hey, you know, just, just be safe out there. You know, the world is crazy. Uh, you know, just, just be careful out there. Uh, stay safe. You know, or people are like, hey, man, when you out on them trails, you know, just, 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 just make sure you got your bear spray and you take a gun and you got all this other stuff. Man, I, I didn't see all kinds of, you know, videos of wildlife jumping on people. It's crazy out there. You know, and, and, and it's just different varieties of like, uh, of the, the, the conversation varies depending on what aspect of like my life causes them the most concern. Okay. But pretty much everything I do, or, you know, another big one, Hey, just be careful. You know, you, you look like you're out there having fun and you, you know, you, you're making that YouTube money, but just be careful that YouTube money can go away. You'll be broke. You know, there, there's always, and I just want to say real quick, I appreciate the concern. I appreciate the concern um, because it's good to know that people are worried about you. So I appreciate the concern. However, I think a lot of times it goes like beyond simple concern. And I can feel like the people uh, uh, who are having these conversations and sending me these messages, I can feel like them projecting their fears onto me. I can feel them projecting their fear onto me. And so that's why sometimes I'll respond, um, you know, in person, I might say, hey, yeah, I get it, man. You know, I, I, I'm always careful, you know, I'm always careful, but uh, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Or in the comments, I might be like, hey, thanks for the concern, but I refuse to live in fear. And that's the thing. Do I have fears? Yes. Do I have concerns? Yes. Do I keep my head on a swivel, you know, and watch my six at all times? Yes. But I refuse to live in fear and I refuse to let the fear stop me from living my life because if I let the fear stop me from living my life, like what am I doing? You know what I'm saying? Like if I let the fear stop me from living my life, why am I even on this planet? What am I doing here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I live a life that's just totally, I try to stay in my comfort zone and try to stay in my little bubble and I try to make sure that like nothing, nothing ever goes wrong. Why am I on this planet? Why am I experiencing what it's like to be a human being? That's not living. That's being afraid 24 seven. I can't do that. I refuse to live in fear. And a big part of it is me just letting go and resigning myself to the fact that bad things can happen. I resign myself to the fact that bad things can happen. And I'm sure sometime on one of these journeys, you know, on one of these trips, you know, on one of these hikes, something bad will happen. I've resigned myself to the fact that bad things happen and in my lifetime, bad things will happen to me. Once you resign yourself to that fact, you don't have to worry about it anymore. You don't have to be afraid of it. When it's time for it to happen, it's going to happen. Once again, I'm cautious, you know, watch my back. I try to make smart decisions. I use what I consider common sense. So I try to like not allow unnecessary things to happen to me. 
but bad things are gonna happen. Things that cause me pain, things that cause me suffering are gonna happen. And guess what? I'm gonna have to figure out a way to deal with them. Bottom line, <laughs> like I'm gonna have to figure out a way to deal with them. But here's the thing, the same thing happens to people, the same things happens to people who allow the fear to rule them who live in fear and who try to stay hidden away and like don't do anything outside their comfort zone and never experience the life they want to live, the same amount of bad stuff happens to them. If you lived in your comfort zone and that meant you were going to have a life totally filled with roses and rainbows and nothing bad was going to happen to you, I tell everybody, stay in your comfort zone. Stay in your comfort zone. But that's not true. That's not true. We all know so many people. Millions, if not billions of people who are like given into the fear and they're afraid to do anything outside of like the stuff they know and bad stuff happens to them every day, every day. So I'm like, what's the point of living in fear and not going after the life you want to go after if like it's the same outcome, <laughs> if, it, if it's the same eventuality, you know, we all have the same long-term eventuality. All of us is going bye-bye one day. Okay. So I'm here on this planet for 80, 90, 100 years, and then it's over. Then my experience as a human being on this planet is over. And during that time, there are going to be a lot of great, wonderful things that happen to me. And then there's going to be some bad things that happen. And it doesn't really matter what I do. That's just the way it plays out. So why not do what you want to do? At least when the bad things happen, I got a lot of good memories to look back on. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of good wonderful, awesome memories to, to, to think about and dwell upon while I'm going through the bad. Not to mention, if something bad happens while I'm out exploring or traveling or doing one of the things I love, I'll take that. You know what I mean? If I'm on a trip and something bad happens to me, I'll take that because I was out doing something I want to do. I'm like, all right, I get it. I was doing so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. This is one of the things that can happen. It happened. I'll take that. I'm really not that bothered because I realized it was a byproduct of something I was doing. When like bad things happen or things that cause us pain happen and we ain't doing nothing exciting or not doing something we love, it really sucks. It really sucks. You know what I mean? If your life ain't exactly where you want it to be and you're kind of down and you're kind of miserable and then something bad happens on top of that, oh, you're really down. You're really down. You're like, what is going on? You're really down. So it's like, I refuse to live in fear. I refuse to live in fear. I'm gonna do the things I wanna do. And I encourage, I implore, I beg everyone watching this video um, who might be a little nervous, a little timid. And once again, we are all get nervous, we all get timid. There's nothing wrong with you because you're scared, right? Scared is a human condition. Your fear, you have fears to tell you like, hey, you're stepping out of your comfort zone. Something might happen, you know. Our fears are there to just kind of guide us, but they shouldn't take our lives over. So it's natural to have fears, but it's also natural to overcome them. It's also natural to say, yeah, that might happen. I'm gonna do it anyway. And the more you do that, the more you'll do that, right? If you never take any risk, you're scared to take even the slightest risk. If you've taken a lot of small risk and they all worked out or most of them worked out, you'll start taking some bigger risk, right? You'll start taking some bigger risk, you know? And then you take a, a few of those bigger risks and they work out. Then you take a bigger risk, even if one of those doesn't work out. When you see, oh snap, I did something I love to do and it didn't totally work out. It didn't totally work out, excuse me, but I still survived. I still made it. Then that takes away a lot of the fear too. You're like, oh, I don't have to worry about everything going 100% perfect because even when things kind of go wrong, it's still okay. I'll figure it out. Like we are so much more powerful than we give ourselves credit for. You know what I mean? We're so much more powerful and we're so much more intelligent and we're so much smarter than we give ourselves credit for. So even if things don't go perfect, even if one of those situations you think can happen, happens. You can figure it out. You can figure it out. You know, you can figure it out. And a lot of times, even when bad things happen, like a way out or some help pops up. A lot of times the way out of a situation you get into that's bad or you know you know something you didn't want to happen happens the way out of it if we can't figure it out which a lot of times we can a lot of times the way out of it just pops up out of nowhere 
someone comes along to help. It just goes away. You know, and that is life. That is where we're put, in my opinion, that's what we were put here to do. Is to like experience the things we want to experience. Not to do things we've done before and like are doing them because everybody else does them and it's safe to do them and there's really no risk of anything bad happening. Like that's not life. That's not life. And I also want to say too on the subject of refusing to live in fear. Another reason I want to talk about this. We are definitely, ladies and gentlemen, living in some interesting times. I would never say we weren't. Okay? I'm the crown prince of positivity and I, I try to stay at a high level of positivity. I try to stay at a high level of happiness. But I'll admit when we're living in some, you know, interesting times. You know, I'll admit that there's some things going down that uh, I don't think are done going down that I think we're going to see more of. And it's going to cause a lot of pain and suffering. But that doesn't mean I have to constantly live in fear of it. That doesn't mean I have to sit around watching 24 hour news networks and getting worked up about llama pox or, you know, you know, or, or some type of new type of sickness that is out there. Or, you know, even when things happen, like for instance, the tragic uh, mass shootings we've been having lately. And real, real quick, real quick, boy, getting a little parched. Uh, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to, gonna have to get some water. So uh, real quick, I just wanna say prayers to Prayers to all the, the family members and friends, everyone affected by those shootings. It's a horrible thing. Um, it's sad that some of our brothers and sisters on this planet are sick. They're going through mental health issues and that causes them to do things like shooting school children. Um, these are the things that are happening, okay? But you don't have to be afraid. You can identify, this is the times we're living in. These are the things that are happening. But once again, that resignation, that resigning yourself to the fact, I tell myself all the time, one day I might be in Target, I might be in Walmart, I might be in the bank, somebody might come in, blast the whole place up, I get hit, wounded or killed. Might happen, might be at the gas station one day, something like that goes down. There's no way I can protect against that, so I don't need to spend my whole life worrying about it, being afraid of it. If there's an illness out there and it's meant for me to get it, I'll get it. If it's not, it's not. I don't need to spend my whole life worried about it, tucked away in my house, scared to go outside. If you wanna live like that, cool. But that's not life. That's just existing. Now, I'm a big believer. All we have to do is pass the time from womb to tomb. So if that's how you wanna pass the time from womb to tomb, as being afraid, tucked away in your house, scared of everything, cool. I refuse to live in fear. I'm going out to live my life. I'm traveling, I'm going places. I'm going out shopping. <laughs> I mean, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm going out hiking. I'm going around people. I'm hopping on planes, trains. Uh, maybe even the bus. Okay, I'm a little scared of the bus. Um, <laughs> I, I do have fears. The bus is one of them. Um, but I'm outside. I'm outside. And for me, what I when I say I'm outside, I'm literally outside because I like being outdoors. But you know, for other people, when you when you're outside, it's just doing whatever you love to do. Don't be afraid to do whatever you love to do because if you're not doing what you love to do with people you love to do it with, why are you on this planet? What does it get you being afraid? What does it get you being afraid? We all have that family member who constantly watches the news. They know every single like new issue that's out there. You know, every single maybe possibly bad thing that's going on. And they are the most miserable people you know. They are the most miserable people you know and their lives just really ain't how I'd like my life to be or probably how you'd like your life to be. So while it's okay to like identify, inflation's out there, gas prices are going up, there ain't no baby food formula, okay? There might be food shortages coming. All these things people are constantly trying to like scare you with, it's okay to like say, okay, and then just keep living your life. If the day comes I go to the grocery store and there ain't no food, well, I guess I'm gonna lose some more weight. I don't have much weight to lose, but you know, it's just going to be what it's going to be. You know, it's, it's, if gas gets up to $10 a gallon, well, I guess I'll just sell the car and walk some more. You know what I mean? Losing even more weight. Um, <laughs> the, the future's looking real thin for you, boy. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to do what it's going to do. You don't have to spend your whole life worrying about these bad things happen. When they happen, you'll deal with them. 
And then guess what? They'll go away. You'll get back to some decent times and then some more bad stuff will pop up. Everybody will want you to be scared about it. If you're, if you're like living in fear, you will always live in fear. I know a lot of people think, oh, these are unprecedented times. That's why I'm scared now. Guess what? Those people are never going to like stop living in fear. If you were living in fear now, you were going to live in fear the rest of your life because there's always something. But if you can get yourself to the, to the place where you just resign yourself to the fact that bad things happen, when they happen, you just have to endure them. But until then, you're just going to live your life and enjoy yourself. You can still have a wonderful, beautiful life. And guess what? Other people seeing you enjoy your life, other people seeing you not afraid will help them to enjoy their life, not be afraid. And it's just like a domino effect. And eventually, if we get enough people living like that, enough of those positivity dominoes dropping, well, then maybe we can change the whole landscape of this planet as far as humans are concerned, and maybe we can stop some of this crazy stuff from happening. Anyway, that's my message for today. Appreciate you watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment box below. Are you living in fear? Are you not living in fear? Um, are you going to stop living in fear? What are you scared of? I don't care. Let's talk about it. I love each and every one of y'all. Stay blessed. Stay abundant. Talk to you later.